Hey, how's it going everyone? Sifu Dax here. Today's topic, what is the best blade for home defense? Now, right off the top of the bat, I'm going to give you what I don't recommend. Don't recommend full-size swords or pocket knives. Now, a full-size sword like this for the battlefield, absolutely, this is what you want, okay? But for indoors, this is going to be just too big and too long for the majority of people, okay? Um, you guys can't see it, but I have a fan up there. If I come in for this angle one cut, I might hit the fan or hit the light, get caught on something, okay? Even if it's just for a few seconds, that might cost me my life, okay? Now at the other extreme, the pocket knife, even though yes, this is great for close quarters, the problem comes in in deploying it, okay? Now yes, they do sell fixed blades that are this size, um, so you don't have to waste time deploying the weapon. However, remember that this is home defense, not street defense. You don't really need something small that you could conceal. So, we could do a little better than this, right? Next up, short swords, like Filipino bolos. Now, Filipino bolos are some of my favorite weapons, okay? They're absolutely fantastic fighting blades. Uh, the only downside, well, two downsides is the price. A lot of these are $400 and up. And the other downside is, is that they're still a little bit too big or too long for a lot of people's homes, especially if you're fighting in a hallway. You're not going to be able to wield this as effectively as you want. And once again, you might run into something like a wall. Now the cheaper option would be a machete, okay? Now, once again, if you have the space, go for a mid-sized weapon, okay? But if you're like most people and you live in a humble home, you can easily get a shorter machete, okay? This, I don't have to worry about it hitting walls. I have a wall right here, okay? But there is ways of making this better. And that is by adding a handguard. With the handguard, not only is this protecting my hand from an oncoming attack, it also can be used at short range like brass knuckles, okay? However, this is not the best fighting tool I recommend. Even though this is great for a lot of people, it does have a downside. Latin machetes in general have what's called a trailing point tip, which means the tip is not in line with the sword, but trailing out, okay? This makes it so that it won't be as effective as you want for thrusting, okay? Now, if you're just a cutting guy, that's totally fine, right? But if you want the ability to thrust, then I recommend another weapon. The Kukri. Now, this kukri, you can see, it has a, um, a handguard shaped like brass knuckles. And kukris have a great tip for thrusting. Now, this forward curve of the kukri makes it so that it's an absolutely brutal chopper. Okay? This has the cutting power of a full-length sword. 
but that forward curve does have two downsides. One is that it is somewhat head heavy, okay? Not as much as a tomahawk or axe, but it has a similar feel to it, okay? So that makes this weapon somewhat slower and a little bit more cumbersome to use than a machete. Also, the forward curve will reduce your reach. You compare it to the butterfly sword, which is already a pretty short sword, you can see the butterfly sword has about four inches reach on the kukri. Still, I think for most people, this is the way to go. However, if you don't like the feel of the kukri, okay, you don't like that it's uh, somewhat slow and that you have less reach, there is a third option. And that is the Bowie. Now, the Bowie won't have the chopping power of the Kukri, okay? But it has a fantastic tip for thrusting. It has the handguard, okay? And it's very light, okay? This is as light as the machete, but with a great point for thrusting. So once again, in my opinion, your options are short machete with a handguard, the kukri, or the bowie, okay? All with handguards, highly recommend. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Hit like or subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. And I'll see you next time.